Hi, this is Paul Howell, Managing Editor for Healthcare Asia magazine. And today I'm presenting the Healthcare Asia Awards, celebrating all the best of achievements and milestones for hospitals and clinics from throughout the Asia-Pacific region. Winning the award for Service Innovation of the Year in Malaysia was Mentcouch International Psychology Centre. And I'm joined now by the CEO and founder of Mentcouch, Tanjina Khan. Tanjina, thank you very much for joining me and congratulations on the win. Hi, Paul. Thank you very much. And I'm very pleased to accept this award on behalf of my team and the Mentcouch family. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the judges and your organization for this prestigious award and recognition of our services. I think um, this award is really a great recognition of Ment Couch's continuous efforts to serve our clients and developing innovative guidance and solutions in our role as a mental health care center. It definitely is a reflection of our commitment to bring value to our clients to our services. I would also like to acknowledge the important contributions made by the whole team of Ment Couch, without which this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you. Thank you very much again. Well, congratulations once more. Can you tell us a bit about the company's psychology centres that have initiated fully online services to global clients over the last year? Um, what were the challenges and, and what were the most remarkable milestones of the initiative? Well, the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic had uh, necessitated sudden and radical changes in the delivery of psychological consultations. Um, we started MenCouch back in March 2020, and within a few days, the number of COVID cases were on the rise. So as strict social, distance, uh, social distancing and lockdown measures were imposed in the early phases of the pandemic, Almost overnight, we were forced to take um, measures to, to find alternative solutions for to stay in the business and to serve our clients who made bookings with us. So um, what we did was transfer our face-to-face -face care practice to online means. And when I say online means, we did not limit the therapies to video calls or Zoom calls only because every individual has unique needs. So we kept their options open to various methods like text-based therapy, voice calls, psychoeducation, or self-help uh, methods to email, et cetera. So while we started by offering our services to the local community first, we noticed that a lot of Asian countries like India and Bangladesh had a um, low psychologist to client ratio. So increasing the number of mental health experts was not an option. So the next logical thing was to offer our services cross borders and that's what we did. The, um, this unanticipated change and the um, fast adaptation surely comes with some significant challenges. One of the concerns was the um, lack of nonverbal signals that we normally use in face-to-face -face communication, such as posture and hand movement, and also general demeanor like smell. So um, sometimes it becomes slightly difficult to connect or clearly communicate an intended message. I personally feel um, video conference sessions can be more demanding than face-to-face -face sessions. So this was one of the challenges. And secondly, we had to constantly learn and make changes at the same time. And when I say changes, I'm not talking about our services only. Everything needed amendment from our privacy policies to our payment systems, to our management, all of it. And um, the most remarkable mind, milestone, I would say, was that uh, we were able to help more than 200 people from various parts of the world in less than a year. So I see it as a big achievement because psychological consultations take time and we had very limited manpower. So we were all learning to adapt to the new normal as well. So um, being able to successfully guide all of these people was something beyond our imaginations. <laughs> so we were very happy about that. Also we were 
conferred with the global global healthcare awards as the mental healthcare achiever during COVID at the World Health and Wellness Congress. And this definitely was a big moment for me and my team. In February this year, I had the biggest honor of being featured in Forbes India, where I shared my views about financial independence of women. This, uh, this feature was, um, has one of has been one of the biggest highlights of my career, I would say. So yeah, we have come a long way in a short span of time. What effect has the pandemic had on well, both your company, but also the healthcare industry as a whole, uh, specifically in the psychology field? Mm -hmm. uh, have there been uh, any important trends that you've seen uh, come out of it? Uh, and how will they impact uh, the future of psychology services? I would say the outbreak of the COVID-19 has created global health concerns and it devastated the entire world, to be honest. This overwhelming uh, public health emergency has had a substantial negative impact on people's mind, I mean, mental health, leading to clinical and uh, subclinical disorders like depression, anxiety, acute stress, and PTSD, and other mental health symptoms, as well as to the excavation of pre-existing mental conditions. So um, I would say the pandemic has transformed our home and work life in many ways. It has uh, transformed most of the practices of psychology, to be honest. The biggest effect, uh, as I mentioned earlier as well, has been the fact that psychology has transformed from in-office practice into a telepsychology-based profession, more of a virtual profession. So I think its impact will be felt for many years. I also think that the um, importance of mental health has been highlighted during the pandemic more than ever. So the important trends that might have come out of it um, could be the fact that many schools and many companies have made mental health assessments and employee wellness programs compulsory nowadays. And now people are more aware and concerned than ever. I think this field, which was still in its infancy, um, has started to get noticed and will continue to progress. And um, telepsychology is something that I would say is here to stay. We must increase our fluency in this technology, though, and we should extend its use to areas such as um, neuropsychological testing and other uh, testing situations. We must also um, ensure that the reimbursement and legal landscape is modified to support this important new area of practice. And um, we have to make sure that the therapists are more comfortable and more effective in dealing with complicated cases like suicidal clients via virtual consultations. We must, I mean, ensure telepsychology though services are able to do that and it is available and accessible. Also, um, I think all of this will have a lasting impact on a future generation as they will definitely take mental health into account. I believe we're at the start of a new and exciting time in the profession of psychology and being able to get mental health care anywhere is our new reality. Now, so what lessons has the company learned during what must have been an incredibly challenging first year in operation? Our biggest learning this past year was, um, I would say, was to remain fluid, and that is what we plan on continuing. I think in times like this, it is important that leaders, especially in this field of work, are ready to outgrow an existing business model or even to transform it into something radically new. So uh, we need to constantly adapt, explore and respond quickly to the needs seen in this rapidly changing world and future, future needs fluidity. And finally, Tanjina, how do you feel about winning the Service Innovation of the Year Award uh, for Malaysia? It's great. I am very pleased with it, as I said before, to be recognised for helping the community and to be applaud, uh, applauded for something that we put so much of our heart and hard work into is always a good feeling. Not only to myself, but there are so many people behind the camera who are cele celebrating this. 
we are young, we are new and small, but we are recognized by you and that is a good feeling. Thank you. Congratulations again, Tanjina Khan. Thank you very much and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you for having me.